This is Cynthia Bates um, calling in reference to your federal student loan. Those scam calls getting harder to catch and experts say they are becoming more popular. Good evening. Glad you're with us. I'm Mike Brooks. I'm Karen Larson. You know, callers can equip themselves with all sorts of information that helps them gain your trust over the phone. Two works for you. Chris Demaria sat down with an expert to show us how to keep your most sensitive information safe in a story that you will see only on two. You know, if you don't know the number, don't answer the call. Um, if you do answer the call, be very skeptical of every call. Yes, this is Kelly Wilson. Yes, this is Deborah Baker. Yes, this is Cynthia Bates. I'm um, calling in reference to your federal student loan. It's a short voicemail, 30 seconds at most, usually asking for the same thing. I would like to discuss your repayment options with some new changes that have taken effect recently. Jeffrey Miller knows all about these schemes. He cautions calling back or even answering can lead right to a trap. Just because somebody sounds real friendly, because they know your name, because they know your address, again, you know, this personal information that we have talked about before, they may have bought that information. Callers can disguise their phone number to make it seem like they're calling from your area code. What they want, well, that can vary. Sometimes it's money, other times it's information, like the security code on your credit card. Miller says these scammers call thousands of people, and while most won't fall for it, all they need is one. <laughs> If you could please be sure to give me a call back, my number is 866-677-1331-866-508-4554-866-815-5115. Don't do it. Miller says that's the first step to keeping yourself safe. Next, change your passwords as many as four times a year and periodically check to make sure your contact information is correct with your banks and credit cards. Also, watch for small charges on your credit card bill that you didn't make. Those, Miller says, could be scammers checking to see if your card will work for them. Watch for those small things because those will lead to big things. In Tulsa. Thank you. Chris DiMaria, Two Works For You.